To write the name for HClO, hypochlorous acid, we'll use this flowchart here and a common ion table. We can see we have HCl and O, three different elements. So we're going to use this part of the table. And we also have oxygen, something we'll see with these three element acids. We need to go to what's called the common ion table and look up and see what ClO is. This is the polyatomic ion attached to this H, and the H is what makes it an acid. So we go to the common ion table, we're looking for ClO, and it's going to be minus because the H has a plus charge. So looking at our common ion table, we're looking for ClO minus. As we go down, we can see right here, ClO minus. It's called the hypochlorite ion. Back to our flow chart, we'll write hypochlorite. When we look at the flow chart, we can see if it ends in ITE, we're going to use the stem, the hypochlor, and add OUS. So we're going to get rid of the ITE here, and we'll replace that with OUS. And then we'll add the name. So that means the name for HClO is hypochlorous acid. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.